save our planet. Historic drought grips Mexico. In an article published on December 13, 2011, Mexican officials state that more than 1 million hectares of crops have now been damaged by extreme dry conditions, with some farmers saying they have seen hardly any rain the entire year. In mid-November, National Meteorological Service General Director Felipe Adrián Vázquez Galvez reported that more than 70% of Mexico's total area was drought-stricken, and experts now estimate that 80,000 families in the state of Chihuahua alone could be seriously impacted. The government is offering subsidies to small farmers in an attempt to compensate for their losses, as well as delivering water to remote areas in need. However, meteorologists have also forecast that the dry weather is likely to continue throughout the winter. Scientists in Mexico have begun working to address the issue with fellow researchers in the southwestern United States, where unprecedented drought also continues to persist. We appreciate the efforts of Mr. Galvez and other experts in raising awareness of this urgent drought crisis. May governments and individuals alike strive to alleviate such conditions through our more conscientious stewardship of the ecosphere. Speaking with concern of the planetary emergency during a June 2011 video conference in Mexico, Supreme Master Ching Hai addressed the devastating drought in the nation, as well as what must be done to stop climate change. With all the droughts and wildfires Mexico is facing, food security is really at risk. And climate change, through droughts and floods that destroy crops, is of course a major cause of high food price and food insecurity. There is a solution. The United Nations propose that the best way to bring about cooling, rather than focusing on carbon dioxide, would be to reduce the shorter-lived global warming agents. These include methane, black carbon, and ground-level ozone. So we all should go vegan, and the best is organic vegan.